Hey there YouTube, this is the Mr. Roboto back with another knife review. This time we're going to do a follow-up on the Andy Shu AD08. Alright guys, a couple months ago I did a review on this Andy Shu uh, Custom OTF. This is a beautiful titanium handled, titanium milled clip. Bowler M390 steel blade. Brass thumb actuator. Just a beautiful out the front knife. At that time, I was claiming that this was going to be my new everyday carry knife, and I was incorrect. While it is a beautiful knife, this has turned into my church carry knife, or my gentleman's knife, if you will. It is not very suitable for hard use, which I knew it really wasn't going to be, but I was sort of hopeful that I would be able to get away with carrying a knife like this every day. But um, I wanted to do a quick update review on this knife after having carried it for a few months now. And um, also I did some more investigation into um, how this knife was made, if it is in fact as it says on the blade, M390 steel, because for its price point, it was a very attractive price. Um, if you remember in my last video, I paid $250 for this knife, and it being titanium, in, titanium M390 and an out-the-front knife, that is a very attractive price. So, since then, in the comments of that video, I did reveal that Andy Shu had raised the price on this knife to, I believe, $750, which is a little pricey for a knife, uh, depending on what your comparison is, but it's still, even at $750, is kind of uh, a bargain, if you will, in these high-end OTFs. So, um, at first, I was a little skeptical about uh, the materials um, for a knife coming out of China, but uh, uh, with some of the brands like uh, Wee Knives and and uh, uh, Rike or Rike or um, however you want to pronounce that, uh, there there are plenty of good uh, knives coming out of China that have good materials. So just to um, be sure, I took the blade apart and just under the knife handle. If you could see in there, you would see a little tiny burn spot. Um, I did, in fact, run it through a mass spectrometer at work to uh, verify that it was the chemical composition of M390, and it is. And I did run a hardness test on it, and it did turn out to be, as they uh, had claimed, right around uh, 60. So it is, it is a legitimate M390 blade, bowler steel. Um, and, uh, I really have enjoyed this knife a lot. It's a lot of comments. It's a beautiful knife. A little dirty inside. If you see, I just had a little miss, miss, uh, um, um, mishap there. But in general, uh, very solid, very good lockup for a knife of this type. And uh, overall, I've just really enjoyed this. So I don't know if this model is still for sale out on DHgate. Um, but I just wanted to give you a quick little rundown of my experience with it. Um, I have been carrying this a lot in um, my my work pants, my, my dress-up slacks. And uh, the nice milled clip does fit nicely. Um, <clears throat> with those with that clothing and the thinness of the uh, of the knife uh, slips right down in my pocket so uh, uh yeah it's just been a really great knife so i am currently in the hunt for a new um, everyday carry i've been looking at some different knives from hogue and uh um and uh just uh some protect knives and just a number of, of other really good knife manufacturers out there uh, so, uh, if you saw my video on my Griptilian, um, you know the kind of style of knife that I like and what I'm trying to replace it with. So, 
If you have any really great recommendations, please feel free to put them down in the comments. Um, if you guys are interested in seeing any specific knife reviews, please make comments as well. If you have a really great knife that you would like me to review, I'm happy to um, have you uh, send that to me and uh, I'll do a review on it and I can send it back. Um, but uh, yeah, this has been a really good little knife. Um, it is, in fact, titanium and M390, which I was pleased to see. And um, that's about all I got for this one. Thanks, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. The Mr. Roboto, out.